Hello everybody and welcome back to Zanil's Gaming Chair. Last time we evicted the we evicted Team Rocket from the radio tower and I spent some time getting our guys up to snuff because our next gym challenge is now against Claire the Dragon Master. And she is not easy, nor is her team. Which means we need to power up 99 Hyper Potions. Because we're gonna need them. Yep, nothing else from you. Thank you. What do you have to say? She says stuff nobody else has. I like got a ton of hyper potions. Of course, just about everyone had to learn, tried to learn a new move. Some got some, some didn't. Knocked out and learned confusion. So that's nice. Yasha wanted to learn hydro pump, but I never. It's never been reliable for me. The trainers around here aren't all that tough, but Claire and her entire gym can be tricky, so 45 is our max. Wanted to boost some stats, Pseudo Widow is our secret ace in the hole with his ice punch and maybe a rock slide or two. I think someone has a Dragonite. I can't be too sure. I know Claire. Well, thanks, Mom. I only beat an entire organization out of the radio tower. Now you decide to give me something with all that money. But anyway, I know Claire has a Cedra. I won't do anything to get my hands on rare Pokemon. That's right, this might be another extended episode. Thank goodness I kept strength around Rhyhorn. So, Ampharos might help with that. But, Gyasha isn't much of a special attacker. Surf always comes in handy. But I went and used our special little exploit, not just to level up for guys, but get enough money for a bunch of performance enhancers to boost Sudowoodo's speed and Yasha's special attack. You get me something else? I don't think she's making up for lost time. Ultra Ball! I'll come back for you later, buddy. Is there like a secret thing there? Any secrets? I want the Lindary Bird Pokemon very much. Pidgeotto! To turn my headphones down. Sometimes the noise leaks out of that. I forgot how we had to go through the cave here. the ambient noises of the house. Nothing else more. Okie dokie. There are some cool Pokemon here, but for Bravity's sake, let's... It's right there. 
We've got all these super repels. Some of these rocks have secrets, so excuse me while I bum around. Super repels. Just like that. HM seven, which gives us whirlpool. I think. No nope, waterfall. That could actually be decent. Water move. But dragons are immune to almost anything. And now the strength puzzles. Could come in handy. Maybe she could go diagonal. Later on, you can go diagonal and it helps a whole lot. And a full heal. Rock smash. But we can just go all the way around. See, I want you to catch an ice type to take on Claire and never melt ice. We don't need it. Maybe it would be good to give to Gyarados. Let's get rid of this. Boost its icy wind. I'm going to be using either that or Twister a lot. I don't even know. I think it's the only one I actually gave an item to. Poison Cure Berry. Just to get it out of my give to leg man. Don't know why, because it can't get poison. Give leg man the amulet coin.
any dragons out there with poison attacks? Probably not. Come back for those items that we missed. Pick you up. What can we boost with that? More icy wind. Just like that. Only took like ten minutes. Fun, what do you have to say? So Kanto and Johto end up sharing a Pokemon League, which is interesting. Move deleter. There's something we want to delete. Probably Flash. I don't think we need Flash anymore. There's confusion. Can we teach it anything else? Like Shadow Ball? Nope, nobody can learn Shadow Ball. That's not fun. We'll teach you a new move as soon as we can. But for now, what's in here? This place always look fu looks fun. Player and Lance are basically Dragon Trainer rivals. Here we go! The final gem over a pit of lava. Some of you guys have Gyarados, maybe? But still, at this point, we've only had with, like, one other Dragon type. And it's an evolution. I don't think anyone saw it coming. And here is the reason why they boosted. Everyone's, like, 30, 25 to 30-ish. But now these guys are alive. Bordering on. Or almost. They would have been at our level. When we got our sixth badge, I think. This is why. The big reason why I decided to put the cheat in is because these older games, compared to the others, I don't think we blinked. I don't think we thought too much of it. Well, I don't think we thought too much of it at the time, but these games are actually really slow leveling comparatively, obviously, to 
maximize the game length. More and more it became more about entertainment. The new games have a lot of lore and everything, but they give a lot of a lot of leeway in terms of leveling and learning moves and it's really interesting how much how different they are. I think we can beat the Pokemon League around level 40, well pretty much like this, and have no trouble before we get to the Kanto part. Just because the game is built around longer, longer sessions. Which is funny because we didn't have chargeable batteries back then. That's, it's like Nintendo and the battery companies had an agreement, and I'm sure they did at some point. And I just find it really fascinating how different the older games are compared. Even the art style in this, in gold and silver here, are very different. Going back... It doesn't seem as bright as red, blue, and yellow, and then you move on, you had your technology, you know, capable of processing more colors, and gold just seems like, Gen 2 just seems like the outlier to me. But a lot of people love it. I remember getting it for Christmas when I was like nine. And I was just fascinated by a whole new Pokemon game because I didn't think much of franchises at the time. And you really didn't. At least I didn't. I didn't know what a franchise was. It was just a new Pokemon game. New Pokemon. Something from uh, something for me on my Game Boy. That's about it. And now it's this huge Thing that we're getting a remake for Gen 4, for what that's worth. I actually think Gen 4, it's not bad. It was one of my favorites at the time. But I don't think a lot of people liked it too much. Sup, buddy? And the remakes will probably go long. Probably go more. It's catching up, it's catching up on itself again. If we get there, I wonder what black and white will look like. going. Might as well. What do you got? Dragonair! Now they're getting tougher. Mm -hmm. 
It's those thunder waves that get you. Being without a ground type. Maybe catching a swan up wouldn't have been so bad. See, now I can speed you. Because I put my Pokemon in drones. Performance enhancing drones. in my way. Just want my badge. Extra little pinch of damage. Also, the drugs. These guys love Thunder Wave. Like, it's crazy. Thunder Wave and Dragon Rage. Anything more? Nope. Okay. That's why I got all these paralyzed heels. Usually I'm up a creek without a paddle. Got all these hyper potions. All right, Claire. You still want to take me on, Fabian? Pokemon, three of which I think are Dragonairs. Against my shiny. One down. Another Dragonair. It's three Dragonairs and a Seedra. Oh, this one's a bit tougher. There's that Thunder Wave, but I've taken so many. So close. 
slam. That's a very fair on a twister. Kingdra. Level 40. First off, let's get Yasha into fighting fit again. I never used, we hadn't used Thundershock in a long time. So in the process of leveling with my candies, I taught it light screen. It's a fair on a Thunder Punch. Between water and dragon typing. And that Hyper Beam. It was a little scary, but that's why it's good to prepare. The only reason I got this is because I cheated, but otherwise this would go on for way too long. And grinding would be a nightmare. Behind this gym is a place called the Dragon's Den. Go there and bring me a dragon fang from deep inside the den. That is the test to be accepted as a true dragon user. I just want my badge. Don't pull a Whitney on this. At least you're not, like, crying in front of me. But I just want my badge. And after a huge battle like that, is good to heal center. And mom got us a couple new things. Let's take a look at that. Moonstone and a super potion. You can keep Moonstone. But I will take the super potion. First, do you have. You do have max or pills. So let's dump all of these. These hyper potions will be fine. As much as I would love to catch a dragon, our resident non dragon pulled his weight. As much as I would like to revive Smaug, the Dragonite. I'm not much of a shiny hunter, so bringing a shiny to the Pokemon League would know, be a big thing. Where is the dragon fang? 
move to teach him more cool. Badge is yours. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And that gives us dragon breath. No, it doesn't have to do with my breath. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. Well, you're just a snob, aren't you? All the badges. Your destination is the Pokemon League in the Indigo Plateau. Do you know how to get there? From here, go to New Bark Town. And then surf east. The route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse without having lost to you. Or are you just a snobby snobby pants? I'm glad I beat you. Not as annoying as Winnie, but still. That we have all eight badges from Jota. But our journey is far, far from the end. Professor Elm, something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Fly. I don't want to go back yet. There's something I gotta do. Bite is a good move, but Crunch is even better. I don't even know if he'll learn it. But we have Waterfall. Which we'll need to get to the league. And we have this Dragon Breath. Which is better than Twister and has a chance to paralyze. It's like an upgrade. Alright, we'll cap it off and see what Professor Elm wants. Your research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Master Ball! It's the ultimate ball that can catch any Pokemon without fail. It's given only to recognize Pokemon researchers. And I think you can make better use of it than I can. Darn Skippy, I can. And with that, I think we'll leave it here. 
and find Ho-Oh. I don't know which comes first, Ho-Oh or the League, but got a Master Ball to catch it, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to ring the bell for when we, for when you know when I'm uploading again. I try to do at least two videos every Saturday and Sunday, so four videos over the weekend with my new work schedule. We'll see how that goes. You can support me on Patreon. I've got exclusive content like a uh, randomizer version of randomized version of Fire Red that we got our first badge in, but I want to finish gold first. So we'll see how that goes and see what I have on the docket for my next for what happens after gold. We still got all of Kanto to go through, so it's gonna be a bit so, until then, I'll see you guys next time when we head off to the Pokemon League and find our legendary. I'll see you guys next time.